Hello there guys, APC guy here with a small update on the video that I did last week about the uh, voice meter banana. It is a free virtual voice mixer that uh, you can use to use some interesting effects for recording and streaming. It is, like I mentioned, completely free. It does add some flexibility and some interesting things that you can do to uh, spice up and make easier the recording and streaming of your gaming or whatever you do. However, it does have uh, some unexpected side effects. Immediately when editing that video, I found that it added some audio desync issues. So what you see on the screen and the audio that you hear does not happen at the same time. So for example, if you are talking or seeing my lips move in a different way, which can give a certain subconscious uh, feeling that something's not quite right with the video and it makes it less pleasant to watch. Alternately, if you are, for example, a video game streamer or something of the sort, if you are playing, I'd say, an FPS and you're shooting, then the sounds that your viewers are hearing don't match up with what's happening on the screen. You're going to be shooting your weapon or whatever, and the your viewers are going to hear the shots like a fraction of a second or later. It's not a huge difference, but it's just enough that it does not feel quite right. And it's usually a matter of fractions of a second that uh, it just does not add up. If you notice something weird, this last clip before this edit that I did, that video was with the audio slightly desynced, a small uh, amount, about uh, 7 or 8 milliseconds, so it's not a huge amount, but it's enough that you probably noticed something. Previous video that I did on the subject, without noticing, uh, it was a bigger difference, so it was a lot more noticeable. You definitely could see that there was something wrong with the timing of the video and the audio. If you're curious about how to check that, how to spot exactly how much of a desync there is and how to fix it, that's what we are going to be addressing in this video. I do my recording for BS, but this would work for other uh, recording software as well. What you need first to check if there is a desync and exactly how much and to be able to correct it is to be able to see that desync. So you're going to want to record a few uh, short tests with both your microphone not going through the voice meter software and with your microphone sound going through this uh, software so you can tell how much of a desync there is. So in this case I have here my raw microphone input and here the one going through voice meter. So the recording file will have both to compare. If you use other software related to the sound as well, like for example RTX Voice, you'll want to have it enabled in the same way as when you will be streaming, because as I found when I was correcting my own sound, RTX Voice adds some extra latency, so I corrected it, and then I turned on RTX Voice, and it was desynced again, and I had to correct it further. So make sure that you have everything exactly as you will be using it uh, before you try to sync stuff. Now the first step that a lot of tutorials on voice meter give you and that I have also followed as best as I could was to go to the menu here, system settings and options and you see here the sample rate that the devices are. You want to make sure these match as well as possible. So as you can see mine are all on 48,000 hertz and you want the buffer here that you are using. In my case I'm using WDM. You can check here which one you are using. You want this one to be as low as possible, so make it as low as it will allow you. In this case, it is 128, as long as it still works. If you lose sound or start hearing crackling noises, then you have to bump it back up. And if at any point during all this testing, you have issues with you know losing sound and all that, you just have to set the settings as they were and do restart audio engine here, and it should re recover completely. You also want to try here exclusive mode that should help with uh, latency and here engine mode. You can change into Swift, however, I personally was having issues with Swift mode, so I turn it back to normal. You want th these all to match up at 48,000, so right here you set at 38,000, same here. And on the ones that you have uh, actual hardware, you want to go to your uh, sound panel in Windows, which uh, Let's maximize it for sound control panel. You want to go, for example, recording, in my case, uh, microphone, uh, where is it now? There it is. You want to come here to the advanced tab, check, actually I cannot change it, so 48,000, but on some others I can. For example, uh, let's say my headset microphone that is sitting right there you want to change it all to the same polling rate. 
Now, in my case, that was not enough to actually fix the issue. It made it better, but not enough to completely fix it. And then I still had the desync. So let's go to the next step. I imported the file that I just recorded with you as an example, and I imported it into Premiere. And what I, you can do is just zoom in on it a little bit. And as you can see here, the audio line three is the one that is coming straight from a mic. Audio line one is the one that is coming through uh, the voice meter software. You can see that the points where the audio actually starts, uh, they differ. One starts a lot earlier than the other. So there's your latency. That's your uh, did. Um, there's your desync, and that's what we are going to be attempting to correct. Now you have several methods to do this. One of them will be extremely time consuming in the long run, which is on every clip when you are editing to unlink the layers and just shuffle them until they match up, which obviously is um, not the easiest thing to do. It'll take a lot of time to do this to every single clip that you record, and it's not feasible to do this when you are streaming. So this is kind of a band-aid uh, fix. It does, however, confirm that uh, there is an audio delay. And when you import your files to a video editor, if you see the lines not add up like that from the different sources, then uh, it's pretty much a sure thing that there is some sort of latency going on and you have to correct it. So how do you go about that? Well, OBS has some tools to help you with that and I'm sure other recording or streaming software have as well. So what you want to do on OBS is click on this little gearbox here next to its uh, input. Click on the one from Voice Emitter Banana, which is the one that gives you issues, and go to Advanced Audio Properties. Here in Sync Offset, you have a little box. In this case, this is how much latency I actually have to compensate in my case. It will differ with the setup that you have, so uh, this is a thing that you are going to have to test it for yourself. And you're going to have to find the sweet spot where the audio actually syncs up. You're going to have to use a minus sign because your audio is actually arriving later than it should. So you're going to have to basically scooch it backwards a little bit to line up with the video that's arriving before the audio actually does. If your, for some reason, video was arriving later than the audio, then you would have to use a, just a plus to 70 of minus. But for this case, you are most likely going to have to use a minus on the sync offset. So how are you going to... Um, get the exact value on how are you going to test if it's actually fixed or not and if the value that you is correct. Well, you have to kind of compare the audio from the two sources and see when it matches up. Now, I know that the line directly from my mic has no latency or next to no latency, so that's going to be our baseline. If you're syncing just video and audio without two sources, you're going to have to do something different, like, for example, clapping your hands uh, before your mic so you can kind of test when your hands hit and when the sound actually shows on the video, that's your cue that where it should sync up. In this case, you have two sources. So I find personally that the hand clap is a bit subjective. Uh, you have to be very quick about it to actually get the precise second. So what I do is uh, one sharp noise, which is I just hit with my nail, for example, on my desktop like this. Not sure if you heard it because of RTX voice, but I just hit it very quickly on the desktop. That gives you just a one sharp point that you can then import the video file that you just recorded while doing that to Premiere and see if it matches up. If it doesn't, you adjust the latency value that I just showed you on OBS a little bit more, a little bit less, until they match up as good as possible. Now, I found it a little bit difficult to make it match up completely. Uh, might be because of Premiere, because Premiere has a one millisecond minimum interval when you zoom in that you can actually see if it matches up or not. However, uh, that's pretty close, really. If you are in the one to two millisecond range, it's not noticeable. Even with the six to seven millisecond range that I had on my latency recording, it was not very noticeable, at least not as much as the video from the other day. So just get it close enough that it's noticeable. Watch back the video, look at your mouth while you hear the sound and see if it looks weird. So yeah, this is kind of the disadvantage of using a virtual mixer as opposed to a physical one. It adds some latency, it adds some issues. Uh, however, it is free and it is cheap and you don't have to invest in hardware. So that's the advantage for people like uh, me and I suppose a lot of other uh, small time streamers and YouTubers out there that uh, don't aren't able to do a large hardware investment, this might help in some cases. You also have to keep in mind that uh, because this is software hardware mixer, a virtual one, if your CPU is experiencing heavy load, 
that can all uh, influence and it can increase or decrease the latency. So this might not be a permanent fix and uh, you might have to readjust it when something changes in the audio configuration or hardware configuration. It might add or take back latency time. So you have to really keep an eye on it every once in a while to make sure it's still going well. That said, I hope this has helped you guys with uh, fixing your audio issues. If you, like me, have just started using VoiceMeter Banana, it seems to be a very good software, but it does introduce a few uh, hiccups that do have to be addressed if you want a good audio experience. Drop a comment, let me know if this has helped you, uh, like if it did, uh, dislike if your PC exploded because of it, which it probably won't, but you never know. Um, consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to help us grow and help us do more content in the future and better videos for you guys. It would really be appreciated if you hit that subscribe button and, uh, well, that's really what we need right now. So I hope I'll see you guys in the next video and in the meantime, have fun.